SOC 2 Common Criteria 6.6 .6 talks about protecting your system from threats that are outside of your boundaries. So rather than implementing password controls that are inside your network, we're really talking about systems that can be accessed from outside your network. Obviously, the risks are greater, the threats are more extensive because anyone in the world can access any publicly facing IP as opposed to there's a little bit more of a limited attack surface internally. And so when we look at 6.6 .6 and external threats, we think about hackers, we think about former employees whose uh, access has been uh, deleted from the system. How do you protect any type of threat that's from the outside coming into your system? Uh, these might be web servers, these might be firewalls, anything that has a public facing aspect to it, your VPN um, to your network. And so you want to think about not only requiring credentials, but requiring additional methods of authentication. Uh, think about multi-factor authentication. There are three factors. There's um, something you know, something you have, and something you are. And so requiring more than one method of authenticating, something you know, a password, and something you have, um, a code off of a smartphone that you're holding in your hand, those are two different methods of authentication that you could require for access coming from the outside of your boundaries. So you want to make sure that you have the proper monitoring controls and tools in place because those are the systems that are going to produce the most data as far as unauthorized attempts go. If you have an FTP server or a firewall, you'll uh, clearly see a lot of traffic that needs to be shunned or at least needs to be monitored in order to make sure that no one is successfully breaking into your system from the outside.